intergenerational living or people of different ages living together. Simple, right? Then why haven't we adopted this yet? We know about staffing shortages, an aging workforce, and similar challenges. My Action Learning Project is intergenerational living. College students were invited to live in a nursing home rent-free in exchange for at least 16 hours of work per week. We've all seen the research, an exponentially increasing aging population, the silver tsunami, the baby boomers, and more. We know and we've known about this. Let's do something about it. That's what St. Joseph's did. Inspired by the Dutch program at Humanitas, St. Joseph's invited college students to live at the nursing home, starting with two students in January 2017, and now 12 students. The intergenerational program is a simple idea. We hope others will adopt. For the student, free rent in Portland, Maine, a place where housing costs are on the rise, as well as a very unique learning experience. For the facility, St. Joseph's Rehabilitation and Residence, reducing use of agency staffing, particularly in CNAs. For the resident, increased engagement, decreased loneliness, and much more. For the field of aging services, opens minds about aging, decreasing ageism, and stereotypes about aging brings new people into the field of aging services and senior living. Since beginning this program in January 2017, St. Joseph's has seen numerous positive impacts on residents, staff, families, and even the greater community. One resident in particular, Jerry, shares his story of feeling less lonely because of the students living where he lives. I just enjoy having them here because they make me feel less lonely and they make me feel younger. The Intergenerational Living Program at St. Joseph's has garnered local, state, national, and even international attention, received two awards for innovation, but the real outcomes are measured by the everyday life, the smiles, the connectedness, and the laughter throughout the community.